she did tonight. Um, I'm going to let Lori go first and tell you a little bit about our story, and then I want to just uh, jump in after that and share a little bit about um, the journey, what it looks like, and how we've done it together as a couple. So I'm going to let Lori go first and tell a little bit about our story. Okay, so good evening, y'all. Good to see you. Um, so just a little background. We got started when we were 23 and 24 years old, so we were babies, <laughs> practically. We were newly married. Um, we were dinks, if y'all remember that term, double income, no kids, but barely making any money. And both of us traveling down downtown Atlanta inside the perimeter to go to work every day. Um, and we were wanting to start a family, but with the income we were making, we knew that, you know, that was going to be hard for us to start a family and for me to be able to stay at home, which is what we wanted. We didn't want to have to send our kids off to, ch to daycare every day. So we were looking for something. We were trying to figure out a way that I could make a thousand dollars a month. And that was our goal. Um, so right at that time, um, someone invited us to a meeting to hear about this opportunity. So we went to this meeting and up on stage was a truck driver and his wife he drove an 18 wheeler and, um, and a former pa or a pastor's wife. Um, and, so we heard them that night and we saw that this pastor's wife was making a six figure income. And we thought, wow, <laughs> if she can do that, maybe we could do this too. So, um, so really we were like all in from the beginning and we knew that if we were going to do it, we really wanted to do it together. Um, because we knew that the two of us together would be much stronger than one of us trying to do it, you know, than the other, um, just be on the sidelines. So we decided to jump all in. We decided to do it together. And that um, thousand dollar goal was reached very quickly. And so um, I was able to quit my job after just a short amount of time. Um, we reached national marketing director in eight months. And um, it's just been an incredible ride for us. You know, at that time, as 23 and 24 year olds, we were able to get on the company's insurance plan, which was huge. Um, we were able to have, you know, full medical, dental, long-term disability insurance, um, dental, vision, tuition, tuition re reimbursement for our college students, which we're getting that right now, which is really nice, <laughs> um, with two in college. Um, we were able to send all three of our kids through um, a private Christian school for all 12 years and all three of them will graduate debt free um, just because we said yes 29 years ago to this opportunity. So it's been incredible. Um, you know, a lot of people I know have to work full, two full time jobs, both parents, and a lot of times they've had to say no to their families because, you know, they weren't able to be there for kids, games, and practices, and, you know, school plays, homecoming from all those important occasions. And because we did this together, because we decided to say yes and really make this our plan A, um, we were able to be there for our kids as they were growing up. Um, so that was really cool for us and really important. So I'll let you take over now. Okay. Um, we have had a blast together. And I know as Ryan and Holly asked us to talk tonight and share with you guys, one of the things I want to talk about was really understanding the bigness of our business. Because I think a lot of times, if you go to our meetings, it's obvious, especially for some of the guys on the phone tonight, it's obvious that it seems to be a female dominated business. And I think there are a couple of reasons for that. But also I think there are several reasons why you see some of the top income earners in a place where couples have come together. You know, when we're talking about fruits and vegetables, typically, the woman, the woman that's head of the house in terms of the groceries and the nutrition and the cooking and taking care of the kids, their radar seems to be up a little more to catch wind and catch notice of the product. So it's very obvious why there's that early initial point of entry. And then when you've got a mom that's already standing home with their kids or is where that's their primary concern, they may not be the primary breadwinner of the home where a lot of times the husband is providing the larger percentage of the income for the home in many cases. And so that extra 500 or a thousand dollars a month, just like with Lori was very attractive to do any number of things for her. It was to be able to stay at home with our kids. For many, it's, um, 
like private school tuition, a vacation once a year, making a car payment. So it could be any number of different things for you, but I think that's how it starts. But that is so much not where it ends up. And that's kind of where I wanted to jump in here and really help you look at and see. So once a family, a household, a mom, their kids, the spouse gets on the product, what is the journey that takes people, kind of pushes you over the edge into seeing this as way more than just a business to go get, get a few customers and make a little bit of money? And I know um, when I talk to a lot of guys that are my buddies, I tend to start with what the potential is and then we have to back up and lay the bricks and put the pieces together to build the business. You know, um, a couple things, I think if, if you told me that I had to, um, you know, do in-home healthy living parties or salad in a jar parties and that was my primary responsibility, I probably would have be uncomfortable. Um, but I've got tons of national marketing directors on my team that have built their whole business in that with that, that model. But that wasn't me. I'm more like, let's go have a cup of coffee at Starbucks. Let's go play golf. Let's go on a men's retreat. I kind of have always just gone out and done life and done the things I love to do. I take Juice Plus with me. So for those of you guys on the phone that haven't really fully, I wanted to say dove in, dove in or dove in, fully dove in. That's my redneck mouth trying to talk there for a minute. Um, I can do numbers. I went to Georgia Tech. Words is a whole other thing. Um, but, um, you know, for those of you that haven't dove in fully yet, think of it this way and think about um, if you were to jump in Juice Plus today with, with your spouse and make a business out of it, and it's, let's say it was Sunday night, not Monday night, and you had a full week ahead of you, who would you normally see this week? If you didn't change one thing you were doing, and you were going to see the normal people you would see on a week-in, week-out basis, and you were to just take Juice Plus with you onto that regular journey, in your mind, in your hip pocket, in your thought process, what would happen? And that's what we began to see and explore. And so that's how I've done this business. I've gone out and done what I love to do, ministry, sports, outdoors, hunting, fishing, golf, and that's where I've done my biggest recruiting, sitting next to somebody on an airplane, whatever it might be. I can't remember the last time that I said, oh, I want to go out and do Juice Plus today. No, I go out and do life and take Juice Plus with me, whatever, whatever trails that takes me down. So you got to think of it that way. Don't think that you've got to go find additional time to do Juice Plus, number one. But then also look at where you want to be with your Juice Plus business. Why are you doing this today? You know, why is your family doing this? Surely it's not just so you can have a title of sales coordinator or a title of national marketing director. Just having that title doesn't really mean anything. Or actually, just having that extra zero or comma in your paycheck, that by itself is not gonna satisfy either, because we all know that if you get to $5,000 a month, what do you want? You want $5,001 a month. If you get to $8,000 a month, you want $8,001 a month. So it's not the title, it's not the money, it's the residual income, it's the creation of a machine, a business, that generates the cash flow to become the foundation of what you want to do with your life as a, as a family. And that's why I wrote the book, make, make a Life Not Just a Living. It's more than a book, it's a message that I wanted to get out because I see so many people that take the bulk of the hours they have awake during the week to make a living and they don't get to pursue and, and go after their God call, their, the purpose that God's put in their life, their unique reason why they're here. And to me, it's not an MD, it's not the amount of the paycheck, but it's that platform that this business becomes to let you be all you created it to be. So I like to look at the big picture potential first. So you and your wife, you know, sit down and, and think about what, where, where are we right now? And if we could craft the life we wanted to create, how would that look different? How would tomorrow look different if we were to craft that? And then sit down and look at how our business can help you build that life. Don't look at, oh, I want to be a national marketing director and then figure out why did you want to be a national marketing director? You know, let the reason, the benefits you want from a business like this be the driving force to help you get there. So I sit down and share the business. I look at national marketing director first. Now I know everybody doesn't want to be a national marketing director. I know that everybody doesn't want to change their careers and go do something different, but I do believe that everybody wants the freedom to be able to do those things, whether they ever decide maybe you've got a wonderful business and you love what you're doing, 
but there's pressure on you to perform to create your paycheck. You may want to keep doing that, but wouldn't it be nice to take that pressure off? We've got physicians in our business and you know that they, they love what they're called to do, but they're so excited because they can work three days a week instead of five and not have the pressure on them. So what if you could go build a business that would allow you some freedom and choices? So that's why I start. I started national marketing director. For those of you on the phone that have heard that and don't really know what it means, don't think of it as a title. Think of it as a business that you're going to build. that's going to become that foundation we talked about. That's going to be what you start to build that life that you want to build. That's going to give you the time freedom, the financial freedom, the relational freedom to go do what you're called to do. So what does a national marketing director look like? Well, you can't really explain that and say, let's go get a few customers. We're going to get to that in a minute. But national marketing director really looks like you deciding that you and your, you and your spouse together are going to build a business. You go out and find the five key people you want to build that business with. And you're not done building until you found those right five people that are going to run the race with you. If you could create a company and you could pick the exact board of directors or the top tier of the C-level leadership team you wanted to have on your team to take you to the top, how would you go about and, and who would those five people be? Obviously, it'd be people that you like being around, that you want to do life with, people that you trust, people that are going to carry their weight, that have influence, credibility, respect, and, and will partner with you and put forth the same amount of energy you're going to put forth, people that have the same map values and morals and beliefs that you do so that you all can be equally yoked in the decisions that you make, and also people that have a why and a reason and a, and a life they want to build along with you. So the first thing you need to think about is finding those five people. And once you find those five people, as Lori said, that's when you have that structure, that five-legged structure where you're getting all those benefits, the $3,000 a month expense allowance, which we call a business incentive bonus, and those benefits come back to your family. And then once you build one, you can also build a second one so you can double dip on all those benefits. But then once I explain that, I mean, and honestly, it's just like who doesn't want the benefits of Juice Plus? Well, who doesn't want the benefits of owning a national marketing director position either? And sometimes I have to just think about it. I think our business model is as proven to help us craft that life we want to create as the Juice Plus research is improving the product works. And there are people out there, you want to go inspire healthy living? How many people do you know out there whose financial need is greater than their health need right this minute? You know, everybody needs to be on Juice Plus, but sometimes you've got people in your life that have stress and panic and, and, and a life situation that's messed up. And our business model is a bigger blessing or equal blessing to them as our product is right now. So you go share that, you see national marketing director, but any, you start seeing the potential, but any successful business person understands that there's got to be a foundation or a building block to build a house, to go build a business. But once they see what the potential is, they're ready to hear, okay, that's what we want to do. Where do we start? And that's when it's so nice and easy to back up, just like Truett Cathy, who started Chick-fil-A. Guarantee you, he cooked a piece of fried chicken before he opened his 100th restaurant. He made, a, he, made a, he, made, he made a good chicken sandwich, found people that liked it, got great customers, and then he, that was so successful, he began to duplicate that model and spread it you know, across the country and probably internationally soon, too. So um, – I got a new stand-up desk and I'm on this little stool that raises me up and down. So I got, sorry if I keep bobbing on you a little bit. Um, so um, I'll sit down and explain that, but then we go back and say, okay, how do we get started? Well, you got to understand that building block. And that's where it starts with a customer. It starts with you being on the product. But the building block that I teach is if you want to become a national marketing director, you need to master laying the HLP block. And the healthy living plan is so simple. It's you believing in this amazing product and becoming a customer, a Trio customer, and you getting two Trio customers in order to get $100 back and in order to get that 6% commission level locked into your business. And so the people that become a national marketing director are not the ones that can do the high-level stuff great. They're really the ones that become masters of laying bricks. But there's a perspective there of if you've ever heard the old analogy of somebody walks up to a construction site and you're roaming around and you see all this busyness going on and you see this um, gentleman, he's laying, he's laying bricks. And the first guy you see laying bricks, you say, well, I'm going to go ask him what they're building. So you go over there and ask, hey, what are you doing? He said, and he says, I'm laying bricks. And he just keeps laying bricks, laying bricks. 
and you keep roaming around. He didn't really give you a clear answer. You're like, well, duh, I saw you were laying bricks. Is that all you're doing? So you say, well, I'm going to ask this other guy. He's busy too. And you go over there and he's got a few more bricks laid. He's, he says, what are you doing? And he says, well, I'm building a wall. He's still, in your mind, he's still laying bricks. But his answer is, I'm building a wall. Well, that's pretty amazing. A wall for what? But he just keeps laying bricks. And you go on and you roam around some more and you go to the third guy. And what's he doing? He's laying bricks. And you ask him what he's doing. And he stops and he says, I'm building a cathedral. You see each of these bricks and he points behind him to this drawing or um, rendering. And he says, each of these bricks I'm laying is one piece and completing that masterpiece. And so for those of you looking at this business that maybe you're watching from the sidelines and you haven't jumped in completely yet, don't um, despise small beginnings because every national marketing director in this business became a master at laying the bricks. And you're going to find those five people that are going to help you build your team, that are going to create that six-figure income for you. You're going to find those because people, your people are going to be attracted to you understanding what it takes to, to lay down the components to build this house and the structure you desire to be the foundation for your family. So I just really encourage you guys to partner together because even though sometimes it seems like, you know, this business is about going out and getting – capsule customer or a gummy customer or an Omega customer or a tower garden customer. It is, but really what you're doing is you're sharing this product in order to inspire somebody to share it with somebody else, actually two people to lay that first brick. And the cool thing about this business is you don't have to lay all the bricks by yourself. All you have to do is teach other people that if we lay enough bricks, we can all have our own cathedral. And that's what Lori and I did. That's what has um, um, blessed us in so many ways. We've been able to share and give back and bless others. We've been able to do some cool things that we could never have done if I had been content, you know, with my computer commute and cubicle to work every day. You know, I'm sitting here talking to my daughter tonight, and some of you may have heard Hope. She did a pretty cool uh, Zoom call last week, just kind of really um, sharing what it feels like to be a millennial in this business. You know, very young, in college, and she's making great money. Uh, she's got a really cool intern job this summer with Tim Elmore, who wrote the book Growing Leaders. And we were just talking earlier, and, you know, she's she's got to do this for her degree. She wants to do it. It's a great opportunity for a powerful man of God to influence her life. But she's going to work 40 hours a week, an hour commute each way in the car every day, and she'll make one-fourth of her Juice Plus check per month that she built while she was in college. And it just goes to show you um, the power of a business like ours. And, you know, her, her started, her, her brick that she mastered in the beginning was learning how to do an amazing Facebook post to share what this product and company meant to her by the, what she was experiencing in her life. And she stuck with that. And from that, that became the leads that allowed her to lay the bricks to build the business that allowed her to be senior sales coordinator as a junior in college and on her way to becoming a national marketing director. And that's really exciting, but Holly, I'm going to turn it back over to you guys. And um, Lori and I would be happy to answer any questions. And I'll just tell you this much. It is so worth it. And don't um, five years from now, three years from now, don't say, I wish we had just said yes back then. 